Alright, so here we go for part 2 of this Q&A video, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for sticking with me for my Q&A video, and, uh, you know, with this, I wasn't expecting to have a part 2, but, you know, I guess it makes up for, you know, the time that I was away, and, uh, you know, with me not making that much video, so, uh, you get a double dose of Fort Minor, so that's a good thing with that, and, uh, you know, I will be continuing on with the final batch and the final questions that I have from you guys, and uh, the last questions I have answered were from Canadian Warrior 1995, and uh, now we move on to the next set of questions. Uh, question and I should say with the next one coming from Kid of Wrestling and I want to thank you for sending me a question and his question is um, what is my favorite moment in WWE and then you know with that being said I have a lot of favorite moments in WWE there are just so many and uh, you know kind of hard to tell which one exactly is my favorite you know any one of the Rocks returns uh, especially you know when he came back you know this year and uh, I was really you know uh, you know, happy to see The Rock come back, you know, after a long ass time, and it was really cool to see him. Uh, you know, anything from the CM Punk shoot, uh, that CM Punk cut not too long ago, uh, before Money in the Bank, and with that whole build up, and now, uh, with his, you know, storyline with Kevin Nash, which I will get to talk about later on in this Q&A video, so stay tuned for that, so, uh, you know, stuff like that, you know, there's so many great moments, you know, it's hard to pick just one. Hopefully, you know, those, you know, are, f you know, some for uh, right now that hopefully I answered my best to for you. So, uh, that's it when it comes to that one. So, thank you, Kid of Wrestling, for sending me that question. Uh, next question comes from, uh, well, questions I actually got from you. I have a couple of questions. Uh, Impossible956, uh, and, uh, you know, his first question is, uh, one of my thoughts on the current CM Punk uh, Kevin Nash and Triple H situation, and, uh, you know, with this, uh, I have been enjoying, you know, the whole storyline between it, and, uh, you know, it has gotten, you know, really good, uh, you know, now that, uh, Kevin Nash is supposed to be released, uh, you know, quote-unquote, and, uh, you know, with that being said, you know, I wouldn't really worry about, you know, Kevin Nash being released, of course, it's most likely a part of the storyline, and they continue with, uh, you know, CM Punk, and, uh, you know, Triple H, and now they're supposed to be having a match at Night of Champions in the no disqualification match, which should be a good match. I thought, you know, we were still going to see CM Punk and Kevin Nash, but of course, you know, with him being released, you know, that's not really going to happen, at least just yet anyway. So I would probably expect him to come back around Night of Champions to interfere in the match, and then, you know, continue this whole storyline. Uh, with me, I would actually like to see Stephanie McMahon get involved, you know, at least, you know, more often, and I have more of a TV role, at least, you know, for one last time anyway. And, uh, you know, I think Triple H might actually eventually turn heel, and I get so pissed off, with, you know, with CM Punk, and that, you know, join Kevin Nash, and I have, you know, the click return, and probably have, you know, HBK come back, and that stuff like that, or the NWO, or reform a new NWO, something like that along those lines, you know. Whether who, or not who's going to be in the new NWO, probably... Uh, you know, we'll have uh, our truth and The Miz, you know, come in, and, you know, we'll have Triple H and uh, Kevin Nash, you know, kind of a new uh, kind of NWO, if you will, something like that. If not, you know, I would like to see the click come back. You know, either one of those groups, you know, are probably most likely to come back. So definitely stay tuned for that in the next couple of weeks and months, uh, you know, whether or not how long this feud is going to last for. But, you know, I have been enjoying it while it lasts. So hopefully that answers your question and the whole, you know, uh, storyline, you know, with those guys is concerned. Anyway, and next question uh, from Impossible956 is, uh, what DVD uh, do you want uh, WWE to put out? And uh, you know with that, I uh, definitely want to see a Christian DVD. Of course, you know, Christian hasn't really have, you know, or had a DVD yet. So I'm definitely uh, looking forward for that. Hopefully, if it does come out, and I look forward, you know, most likely a documentary with some, uh, you know, favorite, you know, uh, classic moments of Christian, uh, you know, first for his first run in the WWE, uh, you know, coming back, you know, from TNA and, uh, you know, into now. So, uh, you know, I would like a Christian DVD, hopefully a better John Morrison DVD. You know, the first one really wasn't really that great of a success. Uh, you know, I had some good stuff in there, but, you know, I would have preferred, you know, something different and a better, you know, uh, actually, you know, with the documentary, because I really enjoyed, you know, documentaries. I actually, you know, 
uh, you know, helps me become a fan more of the person, you know, depending on who it is, and then, you know, learn a lot more from that, you know, particular wrestler. So that's, you know, one of the good things I like about documentaries. So, you know, uh, Christian DVD and the Better John Morrison DVD, uh, as of right now, uh, as for, you know, which WWE DVDs I would like to see from the WWE. So that's it with that one. So hopefully I answered that one. And the last and final question, do you think, uh, there is going to be a new start for Jeff Hardy, or, you know, will uh, he screw up once again? And then, you know, that is the last and final question from Impossible 956. And to answer that, you know, uh, only time to tell at this point, you know, I really hope, you know, the Hardy boys, you know, straighten up and, uh, you know, at least I would, you know, like I mentioned before, uh, I would prefer them to stay away from wrestling, you know, uh, for a good couple of months, if not a year, and then, uh, you know, can really so they can really you know uh, get their act together and come back and uh, you know be better than ever and that uh, you know not have to worry about you know uh, what's been going on as of late and that uh, you know pretty much in the same answer as before and you know what I've been saying time and time again so hopefully both of them can get their act together so hopefully that answers your question so that's it when it comes to that one uh, next set of questions a question is from straight edge is live and uh, so do you think CM Punk will leave uh, the WWE after Kevin Nash and Triple H stuff is done? And uh, you know, to simply answer that question, you know, I don't think you know this is it for CM Punk. I do think, however, we will see more things coming out of CM Punk, and I think this is just the beginning of you know the more serious side and you know of you know CM Punk and everything. You know, we've seen the start start of it. Uh, with John Cena and that program, which is great as well, and now we're seeing you know more stuff going into the Nash and Triple H storyline. So I think we're only going to see more better things from CM Punk and that uh, you know continue uh, you know doing you know stuff like that and uh, you know have another feud with someone else. Who would it be? I don't know at this point in time, but anything can happen. So uh, with that being said, no, I don't think CM Punk will be leaving. If not, he will be most likely staying and having another storyline. So hopefully that answers the question. And now we're moving right along here to uh, you know the next set of questions. And this is from WWE TNA on my life. And that, you know, his first question is, if you could push a person to the main event, who would it be? Uh, and, uh, well, with WWE-wise, I would push, you know, continue to push Daniel Bryan. You know, so far he's doing uh, really good so far in the slow build. You know, continue to slowly build him up until, you know, a main eventer, uh, you know, win a make card championship and some more championships before winning the World Heavyweight Championship and actually have him win the World Title at WrestleMania and uh, hold it for a while and have some, you know, great feuds. Uh, so far he's having a good feud with uh, Unico right now, which is being played by, uh, which he's playing uh, Sin Cara at the moment, so, you know, I like that whole feud as of right now, so uh, that's a good start. Also, I would actually push, you know, Ted DiBiase uh, to be a face and, you know, uh, to really you know, break away from Cody Rhodes and then do better as a face and be more on his own and, uh, you know, have some good feuds and, uh, you know, uh, not be, you know, underutilized and stuff like that and, uh, you know, uh, do some good things as a face, win some championships, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, for WWE-wise, Ted DiBiase and Daniel Bryan, even though Daniel Bryan, you know, is pretty much, you know, having a good push slowly into the main event. Uh, TNA-wise, you know, guys like AJ Styles, uh, guys like Samoa Joe definitely, uh, you know, I would push to the main event, you know, instead of, you know, having other guys like, you know, Mr. Anderson and guys like that, um, you know, guys like that have been with the company the longest and the veterans of the company should really get that main event spot. Definitely, you know, with Samoa Joe, you know, don't really like how he's been being used. Uh, you know, so far he is in a way, I guess, coming back from the Balfour Glory series. Uh, whether or not he's going to end up winning the whole thing, uh, you know, towards the end, uh, we'll have to wait and see where that goes, but definitely I would, look at the, would like to see, you know, a world championship on Samoa Joe and, you know, guys like, uh, you know, in beer money and stuff like that. You know, just the veterans of TNA, I would like to see have a world title, uh, you know, around the way, so that's pretty much it when it comes to that. And uh, if I were WWE, which is the next question, who is the one person I would hire? 
uh, I guess, you know, I think it means, you know, from TNA, you know, going back to Samoa Joe, I think it would be cool uh, to see him in WWE, and, you know, I know, uh, you know, from a tweet not too long ago, Stone Cold even wanted and suggested that uh, Samoa Joe should go to WWE, so I think that would be an interesting twist. Uh, you know, whether he's going to be a face or a heel, you know, it doesn't really matter at this point, but I would like to see him on SmackDown and that, uh, you know, be like he was in the beginning and that, uh, you know, uh, be dominant and stuff like that, have some good matches and, uh, you know, eventually move over to Raw and then, uh, you know, have a good run with the WWE and eventually win some championships, of course, and eventually be pushed to the main event, which would be really cool to see. And, you know, same thing, you know, goes for, you know, like uh, AJ Styles, something like that would be cool. Uh, guys like that, you know, would be cool to see in WWE and for have, you know, Kurt Angle to come back for uh, another run in WWE, which would be cool, you know, with this, you know, situation right now with the DWI and stuff like that. Um, you know, I think it would be cool to see, you know, have Kurt Angle come back to WWE and uh, have that whole situation, you know, dealt with and, uh, you know, once that's cleared up, you know, eventually come back. So that's it when it comes to that one. And uh, will WrestleMania 28 uh, be Undertaker's last WrestleMania is the last question. And, uh, you know, with that being said, as of this point, and, you know, is looking to be uh, Undertaker's last match. Uh, you know, sad to say, but it might be, so we'll have to wait and see where that goes, so, uh, you know, whether or not who he's going to face, I don't know at this point, it could be Triple H, which I don't really want to see again for the third time, and I actually want to see, you know, him face some, uh, you know, have him face someone new, uh, maybe like CM Punk, uh, you know, at WrestleMania, I know they faced each other before, but never really at WrestleMania, uh, Chris Jericho would be another good choice, you know, someone like that, someone new uh, to face The Undertaker and to have his last match, which uh, would be cool to see. So hopefully that answers all the questions uh, that you sent. So I thank you once again for sending them. And the next set of questions here are from, hopefully I know I messed up the name here, is DMA112790. Uh, and his first question is, what is your favorite match of all time? And, uh, you know, with this one, I said it. Uh, you know, time and time before, and of course, definitely has to be uh, Rock versus Hogan. You know, just the atmosphere of that match, uh, you know, going into it and everything. And even, you know, with uh, Rock Hogan too, uh, you know, was just as good too. Uh, so I did enjoy that, and, uh, you know, you know the match was good, you know, the crowd was good as well, uh, you know, with both of the matchups that they had. Uh, you know, Taker and HBK is another, you know, good series of matches that I enjoyed. Uh, you know, Batista and Undertaker, you know, so on and so forth again. You know, it's kind of hard to tell the, you know, pick out my favorite match. There are just so many. That's just to name a few. Hopefully, you know, that's good enough. So, uh, that's it when it comes to that. Um, next question is, who from TNA do you think should go to WWE or ROH? Uh, you know, like I mentioned before, you know, I think, you know, Samoa Joe would be cool to see him go to, uh, you know, WWE. Uh, you know, any one of the veterans, you know, from TNA, you know, would be cool to see to go to ROH or, you know, any of the current wrestlers from, you know, TNA, you know, to go over to ROH and help them out since they're going to be coming on TV soon, which I'm looking uh, forward for and looking to make some ROH videos once that comes to TV. So, uh, you know, hopefully that answers your question and questions uh, with that being said. So that's it when it comes to that one. Uh, the last set of questions, and then we got Silverstone14, and his question is, what do you think uh, about Matt Hardy, well, what Matt Hardy is up to, and uh, is it another rebirth, or is he losing uh, his head, just like Jeff Hardy, and, uh, you know, with Matt Hardy, uh, you know, again, you know, definitely these guys, you know, should really get their act together, and uh, get everything situated out, and, you know, just stay away from wrestling, you know, get everything, you know, together, and, uh, you know, come back after, I want to say about a year, and, uh, you know, come back better than ever, and, uh, you know, hopefully that answers the question, you know, same thing, same answer from before, you know, just really hope they got their act together, you know, you can't take away that they're, uh, you know, one of the greatest tag team wrestlers of all time, and, uh, you know, they are, you know, to me, I think, anyway, you know, good wrestlers, so they just really need to get their act together, so that's it when it comes to that, and, uh, last set of question. Uh, question comes from RKO Legend Kid 31, and uh, his question is: With ROH coming on TV September 24th, which is which is uh, you know the day after my birthday, which is the 23rd, so looking forward for that. Uh, do you think 
that they will be WWE's biggest competition. Well, I wouldn't say that exactly right now since, you know, they're just getting started to become, uh, you know, more uh, in the way mainstream. And, uh, you know, I'll give them a good while before, you know, just to see how they're going to do it anyway. Uh, you know, it will be at least a while to say that whether or not they're going to be become, you know, WWE's biggest competition. Uh, so the answer right now is no, I don't think so. At least give them, you know, a bit more time and uh, so then the more out there and the fans and, uh, you know, to get new fans interested into watching the product and everything. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, with the set of questions, and I think I got everyone, uh, hopefully I did, so, you know, once again, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for sending me questions, and, uh, you know, sticking through with this video, this two-part video, and I wasn't expecting that, so I guess it makes up for, uh, you know, the time that while I was away on vacation, and I look for my on the road for my project, if not today, most likely tomorrow, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this a uh, two-part Q&A video. Uh, you know, I might do this again. You know, this is really fun, and I was uh, looking forward to answering your questions, and uh, you know, hopefully I answer them the best I can. Let me know. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Uh, you know, on you know what I talked about, and uh, you know all the questions that I answered. You know, I love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions, and uh, you know, leave your comments in the comment box, and then. Uh, you can feel free to leave a video response too as well, but that about does it for this two-parter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and as always, I will talk to you guys later on. Peace.